Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, I am going to show how we can send a message from Firebase Messenger and how we can display that message in a text view in place of any notification. The notification I have shown you in the last video, you can watch that also. So I just try to show this. Now I need to create a text in which I can display the notice that I will send. So what I do here, I create a text or I can use animated visibility I say visibility to true and then here I use text like this and here I will show uh, the masses that will come so for that I create one state variable also I say where masses equal to remember then I say mutable state of and here we pass a string that message we send here So we have enter here string value now we can change font also so we can say font size so I can say that material themes dot typography dot h3 dot font size you can give any font size that we required then we can say font bold also for that we say font weight equal to font weight dot bold like this so that is string we have now for receiving a message from a service to the activity it's a very easy to have a library called event bus so I here search event bus Android so just open this on github and we need to use this library it's a very very simple and powerful also for that I need to use this implement it so I use like this for Android I try to insert this library here like this and try to synchronize it done so remove this now come to the main activity and follow the rules that is given so first of all I need to register this so for registration what I do so I just copy this line here and I register this activity on on start whenever I start this on create function then I register this activity and import it here now I need to close it when I close the application so I overwrite this function and here I want to override it so like this Okay, within a class I want so I cut this 
so under this class i want to override it so it is not coming here because it's a component activity so i try to override first of all override on is stop so i just on stop i override this here function and i copy this line of code and i paste it for unregistering this one thing two thing is done now i need to create a data class so i create a data class here name of this class is messes i can say my messes and i create this class and here i pass uh, messes and i say it is a string type so this is done and i say where to this now i need services i need one function to override also so that function is this event i want to override so what i do i just in main then i need to override or subscribe this done so we have this event messages here this event messages uh, would be of my messages like this my messages will come here and uh, i need to define this variable to on create for global access so i create this here for global access only available in this so what i do i say let in it and i just cut this and i initialize under this and i say it to masses like this initialization mutable state string we declare this like this we create it here globally then we can change this value so uh, this thing is done now here i need the object means event then dot messages and i need to pass this to uh, the messages that we receive this messages i need so messages dot value so i need to define this in a class so i cut it and i define here in a class now this is done dot to string it is mutable state so dot value and here 
we refine this so if the masses come it will go to this value and this value will be reflect from here so I say masses is not coming here that is also because this function is not a part of that class so I just cut this haul this cut this and I paste inside a class to access this here it will come automatically now messages dot to string so we have to define in same class so I think done now I need to uh, fire it from the service so in place of notification so I disable this I need to send data to the event bus for that I need to post this so here I just copy and go to this paste it here convert into this and here I need to create my uh, my masses class and here I need to pass the it dot body dot to string because it's a message that I'm sending it will come here to this and uh, fire it will fire and it is automatically will be display in this text so try to run it once again so here we have the object value so here I need to click value dot to string because the value I need try to run it once again you see now it is running so if the masses come then it will display here we try to uh, send the masses so here we have so I say uh, hello dear I am from FCM and send it specify device is same click on test try to open you see hello dear I am from FCM it is coming here it is coming here also remember this so this message is coming here if I send one more message I say uh, one more message I say hello dear it is only possible by event bus library send it specific device test and you will have the magic that hello dear it is only possible by event bus library so we are able to show a message in place of notification remember that in last video we have learned how to fire a notification from FCM here I am not firing a notification I am sending a message here with the help of this we can create a some chatting application also it is a one way to send a message but here I can make one text box on that text box I will send some text and it will go to other devices and if other one is sending information that will come here and we can append this information also in previous value to the new value so like this we can make chatting so I will try to do this in next video to send a message from a specific device to other specific device means I am not going to use a FCM for sender I will try to send a message from an Android application using FCM to another Android application in next video that I am working on it if it will be successful then I will show you in a video also so that's all for now in this video I think you learn something from this video if you really learn anything please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video